Hello students, uh, welcome back on the tutorial of the Enix CAD systems. So today we will talk about uh, uh, some filters existing in the Sketch Techniques environment. So in the two-dimensional environment, so uh, they are the important tools in order to obtain the accurate uh, two-dimensional sketch. So uh, we will see the how to use the, this kind of sketch filters and. Uh, why it is the important uh, we will uh, make some conclusions on it so let's open the new file select the model uh, define the parameters of the uh, the order model and uh, define the unit as a millimeter here and press ok to go on uh, sketch filters let's uh, select as usual the sketch Define the datum coordinate system and press OK. So the sketch filters is the techniques in order to use the in order to uh, use it to help our the sketch. So they are located in the right here in the the lower part of the ribbon bar. Here you see the, all the the possibilities of the sketch techniques. Here we will see the the some important of the these sketch techniques. So let's uh, first for example uh, draw the uh, any line, for example horizontal line, and uh, you see here the if I bring my the cursor on the start point, this is the yellow. It represents the starting point of our the uh, line, and this is the end point. So here you see that this is the first sketch filter end point. This is activated. So it means that uh, we are the able to select the uh, end points of the, our the sketch. In this case, the line, this one, and this one. If I uh, deactivate this line, this is the this end point. For example, I deactivated it, and in this case, I am not able to select the here. You see, not the yellow line, the end points of the, our the line. So, uh, for example, this uh, so it is uh, used in order to select center line so for example if I want to make some constraint systems for example I want to bring the, this end point with the, this end point so in order to do this I will have to the this uh, since it is not activated and uh, let's uh, select uh, this since go to the geometric constraint since it is not activated and if I want to bring the make the coincident so I couldn't do these two lines to be the coincident since this is not activated endpoint. If I activate this one, and then I can uh, choose, I can select this endpoint of the line and uh, this endpoint line, so they will become the coincident. So, and uh, just in one point they will uh, rotate just in one point. So this is the how the endpoint is obtained. For example, that's if, for example, if I want to make the endpoint to draw the line draw uh, let's uh, I want to draw the line for example and let's make that this is the uh, not active so you see endpoint is not active and I want to bring my line to the this point in this case if I rotate this one you see it is not connected with the endpoint it is the uh, moving since while I am drawing that this one is uh, not activated when for example, the, the smooth it here. You see, it's a horizontal moves. When I draw this one, be careful. This is the, this should be if the this is the if the end point is active. For example, it's active, and I want to draw the line here. If I bring here my cursor, and it will connect this one. So you see here, it is connected. So in conclusion, we can say that how is important this the end point is to connect like a systems like this but it is the uh, it is not connected just it moves and uh, horizontally so this is the endpoint filter of the sketch technique next one is the midpoint here is the user in order to select the midpoint of the line for example uh, the line let's draw the line here horizontal line and since midpoint is active you see midpoint is active you are the able to uh, select uh, your the midpoint here the yellow it shows that say this is the midpoint of the uh, midpoint of the line horizontal line if you dis disactivate it 
disactivated you are not able to select the uh, you are not able to select the center point of this uh, line so this is the how is the midpoint okay let's see the, the example let's draw this line and I want to uh, draw the line until the to the midpoint of the, this point so let's firstly see with the active point so in this case I will draw here you see it shows the midpoint and click my mouse now it just fix my the line exactly on the midpoint here in the midpoint of the my line because the midpoint line was the activator while I am drawing the, this uh, inclined line for example this uh, let's uh, go back if the, I draw the line here with a disactivation of the midpoint here here it shows the some points but uh, here if I click here it moves along the along the line so it is not the midpoint so midpoint is also so important in order to define the, the center point of the, our the uh, our the lines so if they see clear the end point and the midpoint let's go on this is the control point is that just a combination of the these two previous one and point and the midpoint if you for example uh, let's deactivate this one and uh, let's draw the line here again just the example if the, this is activated and if the, this one is control point is activated it means that you are the able to select the control points both end points and the midpoints this is just a combination of the this ones in the, in the one in the one filter so the same way we can see the, the, the same examples with the constraints and so on okay uh, let's see just uh, an example let's uh, select the line with the uh, let's make the, this is uh, active and this is let's make the, this active and if I uh, select this one it just concentrate that co connect my the line on the midpoint of the, the this horizontal line so because of the uh, this one control point was uh, activated also you can make just connect to the end point so you see it is the connected and if uh, you see the example with the uh, not active of the control point in this case it is you see this is not active and I want to connect my line with the this one and in this case it is you see the moose because it is not connected and the uh, filter is not activated so this is the how the points are obtained next is the uh, used for the these two for the spline lines in order to define the control points and the poles of the spline lines so let's uh, draw the first for the on the example of the spline line like here just any example you see the points represents the poles or the control points of the spline line so these filters are the used in order to control the these points press ok so while these two functions the filters is active it means that you are the able to control the these spline lines you see the red yellow one also you see you can drag and uh, change the positions and so on anyway exactly exactly you can control exactly that points exactly that points anyway if they are not active like this here an example so you can change the position but not exactly of that control point so control points of the spline line so important when the designing so without uh, the activating this one you are not uh, it is the uh, it will be just uh, uh, it will be problem with the uh, controlling the, the the controlling of the spline spline line. for example let's activate it and draw it with the example and uh, make it this coincident so it just coincides on the dead point not the move so if you uh, de deactivate this one to both of them and control we go to the control point so you see the just don't one more again disactivate this ones and draw the line to the control point now you see that uh, now let's move it you see control point is fixed but the line is the moving and here 
the line is moving with the control point so this is the how the this control points or poles are the used in the spline line next is the intersection just it gives us the intersection of the two points just to give here example this one so it is intersected and it moves along the this line okay next one is with the circles so it defines the circle center point with the yellow line for example if I draw the circle here circle here if the, this is the active you see you are able to the select the circle your the circle arc is uh, your circle center point if you if the disactivate this one so uh, it is not able to you are not able to uh, you are not able to select this one how why it is important for example if you have the two circle if you have a two circle and you would like to bring the order of this circle inside of the this circle to bring in the coincident constraint so let's open the coincident constraint and the here you see the coincident constraint we have seen it is so let's make the uh, since here you see it is active you are able to uh, select uh, uh, just a moment active and coincident Okay, let's uh, go back again. The okay, I think now works. So uh, this uh, filter is active. Let's open the constraint, make it uh, concentric. So you see, this is uh, brings to the concentric concentrate. Uh, uh, concentrates so it uh, makes uh, the same uh, center point so uh, with uh, this one you can uh, select uh, this arc center point so without uh, activating this one you are not able to uh, you are not able to just uh, select uh, this one uh, the center point so next is the uh, quadrant point of the circle so the quadrant point is uh, this four points of the circle if uh, it is not active you are not able to exactly select the quadrant point for example let's uh, draw the line and i want to bring here this point so without activation so you see the line is moves around the, the circle if i activate this one if i activate this one and draw the line here it shows the quadrant point and if moves so you we'll see that's the that's the moment mm. so uh, select the line quadrant point so it move it's just uh, connect the line in the quadrant point of the this line so this is the how to select these four points okay then the next is the the just a point so for example if you have the point here in the let's draw the point point so here uh, you see the point is created so uh, if you, this is the uh, active you can able to select your point like here but if not active you are not able to click to the you know ch check the click the, the your the uh, point next one is uh, just a point on the curve so uh, the same as a uh, point so but in this case it is a point on the core you see here the point is cre created if uh, this uh, function filter is active you are able to select this point on the course like this you can delete it one so this is the how about uh, sketch filters and the how they are the important because while they are the designing they are the important to be the be sure that uh, you are the exactly they getting the closed systems like uh, closed systems and uh, like uh, make some relationships between the uh, the sketches. So that's all for the, the today. It just uh, was the deep analysis of the uh, filters. So I think it is the useful for you this information.